Hello and welcome to the VizRT Public Show at IBC 2014. My name is Chris Black and, and today I'm going to show you the advanced features of Viz Virtual Studio. First, let me tell you a little bit about the broadcast that we're putting together for you. Right now, right across, uh, right on the other side of this wall right now, we have a director who is using Viz Virtual Studio software and Viz Trio software to control all the graphics that you see here in the Viz Virtual Studio. Also directly in front of me, you see this camera on a crane. This is an agripment crane that's using a, a mechanical tracking system that is sending the X, Y, and Z and zoom information from the camera over to Viz Virtual Studio software so you can see the movement in the virtual set just above you in the monitors. Now, above me, I also have a series of cameras. This is an optical tracking system for motion analysis that is tracking the movement of the camera directly in front of me, will also allow me to interact with the immersive objects that you'll see later on in the show. Now, Viz Virtual Suit Studio is a template-based system. What that means is the journalist in the newsroom has complete control over all of the content in the studio. They can edit images, text, video, all within their newsroom system and create a playlist of events. Let's actually bring in a few elements here. So first of all, in our monitors on both sides of me, we have uh, some images, some text, and video that will come up and change throughout the show. And this is all part of a playlist. But we can also add in items such as immersive objects to the studio floor. So for instance, here I have this 3D model of a Formula One car. And as it rotates around on the floor, you can see that it actually is indeed immersed in front of me in the studio floor. And this is all rendered in real time with Viz Engine. Now, since we're able to use a playlist of events, this can be uh, triggered just like any other broadcast, where you're bringing in lower thirds, full screen graphics, or show opens, or just as easily changing elements within the studio, such as adding in um, a different story here, maybe King Tut's tomb. There we are. So we have some images, some text over here, some other images in my other monitor. Well, we can also bring in virtual set pieces. So here I have actually my virtual news desk, and I can add in immersive objects onto the news desk as well, such as this uh, 3D model of the Sphinx that I have here. And as it rotates around, you can see that it's giving a nice reflective uh, properties by using some HDR images and some state-of-the-art shaders from Viz Engine. Now, in our studio today, we are using a single physical camera just in front of me. But Viz Virtual Studio also comes with multiple virtual cameras. And the virtual cameras are, allow you to expand the studio space beyond the green screen and create a much larger virtual environment that your presenter can be immersed within. So actually, let's take a look with this using the virtual camera in Viz Virtual Studio. So now here I am in a brand new virtual environment using this camera. I've got some environmental effects like this flame going on over here. And we can use some uh, keyframing tools and be able to fly around and really give a completely different perspective of a virtual environment that is not possible with just a physical camera in the studio. So you can see we can really fly around and explore this whole space. I'm going to go back out into the studio for a moment because I also want to talk to you about how Viz Virtual Studio can help you with your sports broadcasts. Now, VizRT just finished helping uh, the World Cup, all of our customers covering the World Cup. We had over 60 broadcasters around the world using VizRT products for covering the World Cup, including 4K graphics, 4K video, and immersive graphics. Let's actually take a look at some of the tools that we can use to help you and enhance your sports broadcast. Let's bring in some uh, sports elements into our studio. So we have uh, some image, some text, a uh, video over here. Let's also bring in some immersive objects into the studio. There we are, it's a matchup of the day with uh, Arsenal and Manchester City. Now these are immersive objects, meaning that they are immersed in the studio floor directly in front of me, whereas the rest of the virtual set is behind me. With Viz Virtual Studio, you're able to take these immersive objects and turn them into almost physical 3D objects where I can be behind them, and I can also walk completely in front of them as well. So I can do a 360 degree walk completely around the object and have it almost as a physical object within the studio. One more other thing that we can do with these objects is interact with them. So there we go. So I'm going to take this little magic wand here. And uh, I mentioned earlier the motion analysis tracking system that's just above my head right now. It is tracking the location of this object that I have in my hand. And Viz Virtual Studio is able to replace that with the Arsenal badge that you see in my hand now. And you can see it's very, very interactive. I can move it around, twist it upside down, spin it around, and even get really up close to the camera here. And you see it's also a very, very high resolution 3D model. And so this is giving your presenter a new way to be able to interact with the content in the studio directly with the objects in their hands. And that's something that wasn't possible before Viz Virtual Studio brought this into play. Now, of course, in the studio here, we are limited by the green screen space where I can move around. 
But this virtual studio also allows you to extend beyond the green screen. And as the camera pans around, you'll see we'll go past the green screen and actually point the camera at the uh, equipment jib itself. And that's going to still look like part of the physical studio space. We can move the camera around, pan, tilt, zoom, and it still has all the physical characteristics of being within the actual studio. And of course, we put this uh, 3D model of a stadium out there to give you the idea of what it looks like to have movement in the studio. Of course, we're looking at the exterior of the stadium, though. Why don't we come back into the studio and take a look at the interior of the stadium using my virtual window? Now, this was my monitor where I had some images earlier. We've opened that up and built a secondary virtual environment into there, in there, which is actually a 3D model of the interior of that stadium. In fact, I'm just going to jump in there real quick, duck down so I don't hit my head on top of that monitor. There we go. So now I'm in a completely separate virtual environment within the virtual studio. And it actually is a very large environment. If I had more room on my green screen here, I could take a long walk out on the pitch and have a little football match. In fact, let's uh, bring some players out here to join me. Let's see here. We've got, uh, there's one, there's another one. How about a football, Seth? Thank you. Danny, you want to join me out here? There you go. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, Danny. Now, Danny right now is standing in the other virtual environment, and I'm inside of a separate virtual environment. And they are completely separate virtual sets that we're inside of right now, but we're still able to interact with each other and have a little fun with it. Thanks, Danny. So actually, I'm just going to jump back out into the uh, studio for a moment here. Let me just duck down. Now, just a moment ago, you saw me on a virtual football pitch. But what I want to do now is go onto an actual football pitch using VizLibro, our sports analysis system. VizLibro allows us to take the presenter and immerse them onto footage of a football match. So we're actually going to take that same virtual camera technology now and apply it to clips of a game and place the presenter right in there. So actually, here I am, if you see down, down in the corner of the screen, I can walk around, I can try to kick the ball away from the guy over there. And with VisiLibro, we're actually able to create virtual camera fly-throughs through different clips and different footage on the field and really give you a different perspective of what's going on. We can stop the footage as it's happening, fly around to give her a different look, place the presenter a new location, also grab different players on the field, move them around, and highlight what is happening. It's a fantastic analysis tool that uh, allows you to really tell the story of what's happening during a match during key plays. If you want to find out more about this, go along to the other side of the booth in the Viz Libro uh, demo position. They will be able to show you all about this tool. Now, actually, let's pause the game here and go around and take a closer look at what's happening on the field. I can see he's got plenty of room here to try to make it in. The defenders are doing a terrible job. Let's fly around and see if he can get it in the goal. Oh, yeah, he's got all kinds of space over here. Let's see what happens. Very nice. So this entire time, I've been inside of a single virtual set, even though I've been in different virtual environments. It's all had the same virtual set uh, feel that I've been in. Now, this virtual studio, of course, allows you to create any design that you want for a virtual studio. And you can change them as often as you want. So you can change them for different topics, such as news, sports, weather, entertainment. But you can also change it from story to story. Let's actually just take away the entire virtual studio for a moment and take a look at how we can do different things. Um, let's bring in something with our social TV integration. There we are. So now this is our social TV set using the VizRT social TV solution. We've been able to curate uh, tweets and place avatars on the, the walls of the set here and here, and also been able to bring in a few tweets here in the studio floor that's also immersed directly in front of me. And of course, if you were to uh, tweet to hashtag VizRT at the IBC, we would be able to actually curate these tweets and add them to our show later on in the day. Let's take away the set and try one more set here. Now, uh, yesterday we premiered one of our new, brand new products, Viz Multiplay. It's a tool that allows your presenter to be able to control very easily all of the content in a large video wall. And actually, we have a video wall right on the corner here that they can show you how all of this works. But what we want to do here is bring a video wall here into the virtual studio and interact with it. So here I actually have brought in a video wall. It's showing eight clips in real time right now, rendering simultaneously. I'm going to grab my little uh, magic wand from motion analysis here and actually grab some of these clips. Let's grab uh, this one here. So I'm going to take that clip, 
and bring it out here in the studio. And you see, I can move it around. I can maybe uh, drop it right here. Let's see, we'll get a lit, so let's go. Perfect. And let's grab another clip. How about this one over here? Let's grab that right there. And we'll bring that in here. So this is actually an HD clip playing in real time, rendered with Viz Engine. And we're still able to interact with it and have complete control of all the content in the studio. And we change these clips to be anything we want, all from the uh, control room. I'm just going to drop that right here real quick. There we go. And actually, just want to do one more thing. Let's take away this studio as well. Now, Viz Virtual Studio uses Viz Engine, a very powerful rendering tool. And just to show you a little bit of how powerful that rendering tool is, we've brought in this 3D model of a robot that we're using. And all of this is happening in real time. This is not a clip. So we've been able to render this in real time with 10,000 keyframes that are playing right now, all still part of a Viz Virtual Studio, and all part of a playlist that is happening during a broadcast. And see, this is the key with Viz Virtual Studio. You have complete control, creative control over all of your content, but it's still a journalist tool that allows you to control all of the content from the newsroom and build a comprehensive playlist to tell the story of the day. Now, if you have any questions about how all of this works, we'll be happy to answer them for you right after the show. Thank you very much, and enjoy the rest of the day here at IBC.